All right, so today we are doing a reaction video on songs that people have made using my jungle production kit. Now, my jungle production kit is my Ableton project file, which allows you to create jungle and drum and bass music with a few clicks to a button. More information about my kit later. Oh, and by the way, I just designed these new t-shirts I'm wearing today. And if you're interested in grabbing one, you can pick it up on my online shop in the link below. And if you guys want to get more content on music production tutorials, then make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. All that also helps my channel grow. All right, let's just get right into it. I'm really excited to see what people have done with my jungle production kit. All right, so this first song is by Obis. Hopefully I pronounced your name correctly. And I'll be leaving all the social links to all the artists down in the description below. So check it out. So let's play the song. And it's called Maddie Maddie Cry. And I believe it is... Uh, a remix of a dance hall track. Nice. That's a nice little change out with some dance hall beat. I love what he did there with the amens and the bass. It's stomping. Ooh, all I have to say is that was heavy. Really liked how he really pushed the amens. Good job, Obis. All right, so the next one is by George Henry. I think he goes by Aesthetics. Ooh, nice. I'm liking the slower tempo on this one. Groovy, groovy. Drop. Nice. Ooh. I like that. It's got this nice bounce. I like how he's cutting the aim in and out. Oh. It's got a little footwork vibe with the vocals. Nice. Breakdown. I like that that bass melody there. Dope. Oh, nice little Amen build. I think that's for my prominence uh, pattern. Nice. Drop. Ooh, 
Nice. That was nicely executed. Oh, this is when it gets really good. Nice. I'm really feeling this now. It's got the energy. That's that aim and run. And that, that running bass line. And it almost... It almost has this Latin feel, that bass line. Love it. Yeah. This is where it's at, the second drop. Kind of wish it got to it a bit sooner. All right, so that was Arcane Tank by George Henry. I really liked how he used the aiming patterns with that almost footwork kick at a slower tempo, and that bass line was dope, so... Good job, man. All right, the next one is by Getafix. I think uh, Getafix not dead. Um, this track's called Kill Jungle. All right, excited about this one. Let's check it out. Like that Reese coming in. I like how he changes up the stab melody. All right, I'm excited for this build. Tension. Ooh, nice little drop. What? Woo! What? Dirty. I like the use of the prominence baseline melody with the Reese. That's dope. Nice little sample he added. Sweet. Ooh, sick. That's a dope sample. What the fuck y'all look on? What? Once again, it's that second drop where they keep it rolling. Love it. This is where it's at. Ooh, love that change up. Rolling, rolling. All right, that was dirty. And once again, that was Kill Jungle by Get a Fix and Dead Dead. That's. Friggin' sick. Sick, sick. Good job. All right, this next one is by Feet, and it's called Boasty. I think this might be a remix of that big tune, Boasty. Let's check it out. It's looking at my kids like I'm bossy. I fly around the world because I'm bossy. Woo! Wow, nice. That's heavy. That's some straight jungle there. Boast. Boast. 
Only thing I think of that vocal, something with the algorithm, the way it's stretching. You may want to try a different algorithm so it sounds smoother. But other than that, the, the beat's sick. Heavy. It's got... I like how you're modulating that bass sound. That's sick. You hear how the vocal sounds a bit choppy? I think it's that algorithm. Try Complex Pro, see if that works. Oh. The second drops have been killing it all around today. I like that sharp two step kick and snare. Very nice. I believe that's for my snare selector in that jungle kit. All right, overall, another sick tune. Very sick. Good job, Feet. All right, this next one's by Dub Dimensions, and he's from Guatemala. Amazing how drum and bass can traverse across the globe. And excited to see what he's done here. The track's called Paradigm, and this one is found on Spotify. Very nice mix. Very clean. Good job. Mmm. That's grimy. That's evil. Love it. Nice little aiming at it, it's nice. Very clean. This is the cleanest mix down I've heard so far from the kit. Really good job. Nice little change up. Love when change ups are done right, when it still sounds consistent with the overall tune. Dub Dimensions, you're killing it. Love the halftime vibe on this. Roll in. All right, that was heavy, heavy, heavy. That again was uh, Paradigmas or Paradigm by Dub Dimensions and he killed it, certified banger. All right, this next one is by Sanjaya from LA and he's a uh, digital drummer and he's using his live drum kit with the jungle kit. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm excited to see what he's done with it. Oh. 
It's so sick to hear live drums that sound like an amen. Nice. Nice change up there. I love seeing the live interpretation of Jungle. Nice, that was cool. That was really cool use of the kit, a really interesting way to employ a live element to the mix. All right, so this next one is by Trimer. Nice use of those Detroit stabs. This one's heavy too, and again, clean mix down. Good job. This one's a banger. Very nice. Every tune has been banging so far. All 
sorry. That was sick. And that was Trimer. Nice banger there. Loving the amens. Good job. All right. This next one is by Project 95 and it's called Temporal. I think he mentioned that he's uh, pulled out different elements from the kit, so and put in a lot of his own elements. Nice tighten up right there. Nice pads. It has a nice metalheads old school vibe. Really beautiful tune. I love the lush uh, chords and little uh, electric pianos. I got very metal headsy from like the Blue Note era. I can barely hear what elements uh, he's taken from the kit. Pretty impressive if, if those elements are from the kit. I think that's shakers from the kit. In order to describe this simple system, you need what is in this sense a very complicated model. So this is a nice approach. Instead of basing the entire tune on the kit, he's created a tune and taken elements from the kit to really spice it up. So good approach. Alright, sick tune, over a good vibe, love the chilled out Metalheads vibe. Almost feel like you should be sending this to Goldie. Alright, the next one is by Common Ground, it's called Dub Demon. Jungle Demon. Nice sample from the start. Is, this, is that the sound of footsteps in the jungle? That's cool. Nice. That's dark. Nice, I stop it. Change up. Sick. The 
This one's rolling. It's got this almost Amit vibe to it. Stope. I like those old, almost uh, nature video samples. Another very use of my kit. I'm liking the stomp and vibe on this one. More use of the other breaks and the different bass lines. And I like how he modulated the Reese uh, bass line. So good job. So those were tracks created with my jungle production kit. It's awesome to see what people have been doing with my kit. Really creative and every track has been unique. So let me know down in the comments, which track was your favorite? And once again, my jungle production kit is my Ableton project file where I provide you multiple drum layers as well as break beats, bass instruments, and over 150 MIDI clips. So you can focus on making music without worrying about the technical details, which I take care of for you. If you're interested in grabbing the Jungle Production Kit this week, I'm offering it at a discount and you can grab it down in the link below. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button and stay tuned for my next video where we'll be getting back into music production. So that's pretty much it for today guys. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. I'll see you in the next video.